first grade is coming to a close and we have our very first page of our main lesson books that we made on some random page and we are now going to be sewing together our books and before we can do that we have to put everything in order and I'm going to show you here all the title pages that have been prepared and various pages in the books so this is the very first page on the back side of it are the consonants and then the vowels and then math and then form drawing and this is the brand new one that you're going to make if you haven't already and then ah in terms of coming to a conclusion on this page this is the w and the v page and the reason i'm including this is because before we bind our books we make sure everything that we are going to include in them like all of our assignments are finished and so it was drawing the warrior here that um, we had not done until now and so this page will now be um, ready to go in your book of course it is bound inside already okay so the next thing that we're going to do is take apart a main lesson book and this would be all of them if you made it an alphabet book that's the one exception you might want the alphabet book to stay completely intact and this is one um, this is my book actually and this was uh, my name before I was married <laughs> so this is a book from a long time ago and uh, what I will be doing with it I can go either way is uh, take I will be taking off the coil and then separating the pages and basically keeping them together but there might be some inside that I want to reorder because when I was making it they were out of order you might find some like that um, or there are pages that you made these title pages in, in the form drawing book but really they belong in um, a math book or something like that so first thing here I have some needle nose pliers but I could also use scissors I have used scissors before but um, if you have this, your parent has this, it just cuts wire a little bit more easily with this part right here. Not the whole thing, but this part. And I will be trimming the little end off because it has this hook here. And that hook um, will catch, and that's the reason why it doesn't unwind. But if we take that off, then it won't be secure anymore, which is actually what we want. And what I was saying about the alphabet book is that you might want that just to stay its own book. And um, that, that may be what you want to do. Uh, you might also want to incorporate it into this book. So you have some freedom there. Otherwise, all the other books will need to be um, bound together. So now is the process of spinning either way. And watch what happens when I spin the wire. Spin, spin, spin. A little bit noisy because it's getting caught, but that's okay. You can see my my holes are still in line there. Use both hands. It's even a little bit faster. Look at that. take you a little while okay you would do that for every single book not just one unless it's not your alphabet book and now you have your pages and you see I don't even have a title page here so that I might want to put one there um, this was a math book just like your blue math book so I have here two this is from a long time ago it's a little different than ours but similar in some ways and all these pages I see so I have some blanks so let's say I accidentally skipped a page I can take it out and then use it as a page for later um, for a drawing paper because if you have extra paper uh, don't recycle it or throw it away save it and you can draw on it because it's really good quality paper the other thing is that um, well, you know, who, what you will actually use it for is form drawing all summer 
um, there may be form drawings for you to do, and you'll have this nice big size paper for it. And here, here's my math page. Look, I had it inside this book, so now I'm going to include that in my other math book. And then this was um, the days of the week in the, the schedule, so you might include that or you might not. You can decide. And then I have these extra pages. So I will set these aside and start to put together all the pages that are complete. Okay, so this book, actually, because it's my old one, I'm just going to set it aside. But the calendar and this were new to me this year. And now I'm going to put my book together. And it's my job to look for, for through every single page to make sure they are in order. So. First, my very first page is going to be this, so that's number one. On the back, it's consonants. So what do I have here but um, my book with my bear, right? That will go next. So my bear will go next, and then the bear writing. The M and the M. And I'm looking to see that everything has been completed. If I see any that aren't, I want to make sure that I do complete them. I have my writing and I have my drawings. And I'm going through and I'm so proud of all my work. And this page at a different time. So you might find that this page is somewhere else in your book and you might move it right behind your C. Just depends, you wanna look. And so you can put it there. And then the goose, and we have Q, P, and J, and X, Y, and Z. Well, this is where I will put this. And if, it, if yours is in a different order, that's fine too. But now I want that where it goes. Oh, and everything's perfect. And then we have our vowels. And mine are up in the classroom, so I don't have them here. But your, your new book, your yellow book, will have the apple and the angel, the eagle and the elephant, the ice and the igloo, the octopus and the orange, the umbrella and the unicorn. And then you might have the skunk, because um, some of you had put the skunk behind the U. And then there was a blank page with purple, right? And that's where the vowels page, then you were going to draw the vowels on there because we had a purple border and it was for this. And then behind it is this, and yours will look more like this back to back. If yours ended up that way, it will be like that piece of paper. So you're going to move this to the front. So we just finished all of our consonants. This paper goes next and it's going to have that on the back. A. And then you can go to the beginning of the vowel book, the, the yellow book, and you'll have your avocado award, apple, angel, and then flip that over. And you keep going and you keep them all in order, E, I, O, U, and then the skunk would be right there and it's behind the U, so it will go there. And then we have a few more pages that we completed. You'll find them in your book. This is my wizard and my magic E and my E page. So that's that. And then if you have anything else that I have forgotten, then um, it will go here. And then once you have your last page for, your, for all of the vowels and the consonants, then is math. So then you're gonna find your math page, put your math page in. I don't have anything on the back of mine and you might not too. So that might stay that way. Uh, and then, I have all my math pages that came out of a book, and I'm gonna make sure that they are in order. And they go like this, and like this. And if I discovered one was out of order, then I would fix it. A couple of you um, redid this page, I'm remembering, and this would be where you could glue on uh, the one, the extra piece of paper that I handed back to you. You might know what I'm talking about if you're one of them. And then the even and the odd, which I didn't finish, but oh, and I have nothing on the back there. I have this, this, and you just go through and make sure everything is just where it should be. 
And you're going to notice I have nothing on the back, but yours should in here. And then this page is an open piece that would be like this until they'll close up together. And then, and then wherever your King Paolo and your Queen Malia and, oh, I had this page too, I forgot. Um, that might be somewhere else in your book. Raja Taj Times and Dame Divinia Divide. And then these other pages. And if they are in some other book, this is where you're going to bring them and put them in whatever order they can go. So if the, wherever the, the spirals are is where you'll put them. And, oh, and then this piece is loose. So you do have an option here. Um, I will show you what you might do. If you have a blank white piece of paper from the main lesson book, like I just did, and it has and it has those spirals, you can then put it on here and you can glue it on. And then you can put it in your book like that. So any page that's loose, you can glue it on one of these empty pieces of paper that you're saving and mostly going to be using for your uh, form drawing. So once I come to completion with my math, which I'm not because I just found this loose paper that I had in the wrong place. So I'm going to make sure I put it inside. So here's this, I'll put that down. It's like this and I'll go like that. And then I have this one. Or if I had a loose piece like this, if I have a blank piece, I can glue this onto it. I don't even have to use a new piece. That's a, not a bad idea. So if you do have it in a blank piece, go ahead and glue your skip counting one onto it and then I'm saving this piece of paper for form drawing later. I really like that. If you don't have an extra, then use your blank. Okay, then form drawing. Okay, so form drawing and I have all of my form drawing here and here we go. I'm going to turn it over and I had actually tried it and decided that my letters were too long, too large. So I, I started over for your benefit so you could see that I was more careful my second time and I showed you my more careful time. And then we're going right in order, all of our form drawings. And I just, I'm going through to make sure that I do have them all. And if there's any out of order, I can do that. If I find, oh, I could have, made this nicer, you can add a little bit to it. You can draw over it and make it darker. And I just will continue to make sure all my pages are in here, including the ones from distance learning, of course. And this was my practice, so I'm not gonna put my practice here. I'll take it out. And again, I'm assuming I have ring holes here. And this one. Now, if you're going to be continuing to do more form drawing in the summer, then I, you might actually decide to take, because this is my last page for now, but I do have a backside if I wanted to draw on it. And then uh, let's say I have a whole bunch more form of paper like this. I can then put it in the back of my book um, and then draw on it later. Um, I'm going to give you freedom there. Maybe you decide you don't want to do that and just keep them loose and, and work on them that way. I'm okay with that too. So now look at this big book. This is everything. And I'm going to make sure I get this. And the real tricky thing, and this, because I don't have the rings except for a couple, um, this is the part that will take the most time for you to get everything lined up because what you're going to be doing is getting all the paper lined up and you're going to see through the holes and that is critical. So you're going to know they're all lined up by being able to see through the holes all in a, in a line. And I'm going to do this old name lesson book so you can see what I'm saying. So I've taken it apart and this is really common for it to be all like this. I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to hold it like this. And I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to go like this. And I see this is out of order. Look, uh, I caught it, right? And I don't want to sew my book and have it hanging off. And I can tell over here 
that, oh, that's not in line. So I'm going to slide it down. And I'm going to do this one as well. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to look at both sides. Is this clean and this edge clean? And is this edge clean? And can I see through the holes? Yes. Okay. I want to say something else. You actually have reds, you have blues, you have yellows, you have greens, maybe. Um, and so you have, a you have a chance to decide whether you want to keep um, the blue here or if you want to put green or red or yellow as your cover. And then you can choose a different color if you want for the back. And uh, some of you might want to keep them as dividers for the sections. That's entirely up to you. But if you want one for the, um, between the, the vowels and the consonants and the math, so I'm looking for, here's my skunk and here's my, oops, I should show you better, and my wizard, I might decide that I want to put one of these here in between my wizard and my math. And you can do that. So some people like to have their whole book as one. Some like to have these dividers between the sections. And so that maybe I'd put my green one in here between my math and my form drawing. But basically what I'm going to have in the end is a very thick book of all the work we've done this year. And I will be lining up my holes, like I said, and then I'm ready for the last step. And I hope you can see this. Um, I hang this over the edge of my table. And this is what I've found to be the easiest way. And then you will need your darning needle right here. So this, this needle that I sent home with you. And then this is what this cord is for. And here we go. So we're going to wind it in. And this is pretty tough, in fact. Um, not just well, putting it inside of here but I, I have gotten it in. And now it's this job of sewing it up. So I, I don't wanna pull it all the way through, but it will take a while, really, to go around loop de loop de loop And my loopings go around the edge. And I don't actually wanna make it too tight because when we open the book later, if they're too tight, the pages are gonna get stuck together. So if you notice how the coil actually is loose, it always is a little bit loose. So if you, if you sew this with a little bit of looseness, and it takes a while, you're gonna actually have to pull all of this through. It really is a job that takes quite a bit of care. And um, I'm gonna zoom in a little and so that you can really see that I am wanting to pull my cord, which I have a lot of it. So this is the hardest part. And I think probably for this entire project, you may need some help, or I would recommend before you sew it, have your parent look through all your pages to make sure they're in the right directions. Um, it's nice to have just one more pair of eyes. And so here I am, here I go. And I am going to just loop around. And I want to pull it all the way through every time because if I have to get to this end and I run out of it, I will not be very happy. So I'm going to have mine pulled all the way through. And hmm, nodding is, does happen. And so you want to undo those. So you want to take your time, I promise you. I've experienced this as being very tough, and if you move too fast, it could be difficult. So keep it loose as you go, and then you'll go under and through, and you just keep working it right through. And um, going around and around and around until you get to the end, as you can see. And there you have it. You'll have it all sewn up. It'll take a little time, but you will. You'll go all the way through, and then you'll have this beautiful book that you're you have completed. 
You might write your name on the front. You might write first grade on the front when you're finished and not, not have your name there. And, um, and then you can be so proud. So congratulations, first grade.